Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see the three types of Teams channels and we will differentiate all these three channels and what are you know the use of these channels. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our Teams uh, application. I have, you know, installed my Teams application on my, you know, this PC. So uh, here you can see, uh, this is my team with the name of channel demo. And uh, if I will click on three dots, here we'll get a option of add channel. So when you click on add channel, so here you can see the three types of channel are listed over here. The first channel is standard channel. The second is private and then is then the third one is shared. On uh, today's video demonstration, we will differentiate between these three channels and uh, like, you know, what are the use of these three channels. So first of all, uh, let me give you the basic, you know, overview of this team channel demo. So whenever you will create a team, so I have already created a teams with the name of channel demo. Uh, basically what happens if you will click on the three dots and here you will get an option of open in SharePoint. So when you click on open in SharePoint, one dedicated, you know, site will also get created basically we call this site a teams connected site so in the front of the site name you can you could easily see the logo of the teams so uh, now we'll go back to our teams all right so first of all what happens uh, whenever you will create a you know a team a one default channel will get created with the name of journal if you could see there is one of, another team with the name of approve request if i will expand one default channel gets created and this is a with the name of journal and this is basically a standard channel so uh, what we will do we will one by one create all the three channels and we will differentiate between them so first of all i will click on three dots here uh, we will click on add channel now here we will give the name to our channel so i will give it a name standard okay so here you can uh, write the description about uh, this particular channel and in privacy i will select standard if you could see it is clearly mentioned everyone on team has access so basically what it exactly is referring to like if i will go back to my sharepoint all right you could see it will create you know the group this is the microsoft 365 group and here you can easily see the members of these groups like myself i am the owner and jack and henry is the member of that microsoft 365 group and that particular group get associated with this teams connected site so basically what happens uh, when you will create a standard channel so those uh, three users will have access to this standard channel so we'll click on standard and we'll click on add okay so you can see our channel is created with the name of standard and this is our standard channel so if you will go on files here what we'll do we'll upload we'll just simply upload the files in this uh, you know channel okay on this channel i will upload all these documents okay so now the question is basically where uh, you know these documents are getting saved basically where these documents are getting reside so I will click on this three dots here. You will, I will get an option of open in SharePoint. So if you will click on open in SharePoint, you can see the site with the name of channel demo and inside that, you know, site channel demo, there is a document library with the name of documents and inside that documents, one folder will get created with the name of standard. The name of this folder will be same as the name of the channel. So our channel name is also standard. So you could see a folder name folder is created with the name of standard. If you will click on this folder, our documents are resides over here. You can see that same thing on the URL as well. So on this site name channel demo, there is our folder name standard and these document resides over here. So on these, the documents, then you could see the same myself and the, apart from me, the two users have the access on this document so that's basically a standard channel now we'll go back to our teams and we'll now create another channel called the private channel okay so guys we are now back to our uh you know teams and 
so inside our team channel demo we i have shown you how we can create a standard channel and what is the use of it so basically now apart from you know uploading the files the users who have access to this standard channel can you know start the chat and everyone who is part of you know this team can you know chat on this standard channel now we'll click on three dots and now i will click on add channel and we'll now create the second channel which is a private channel so i will click on private here uh, let me give it a name private we'll click on create so you could see it's a, it's asking us to add a members to the private channel like as i have shown you myself jack and henry are part of this team channel demo so uh, if i will type name jack you can see i am getting his name to add on this private channel okay so if i will uh, you know type ritika name you can see i am not able to add her on this private channel so the reason why i am not able to add ritika on this private channel is because only two you two members apart from me like i am the owner of this you know team channel demo and only jack and andri has access on this private channel so that is the reason i am not able to add ritika on this private channel i can only add those member on this private channel those who have those who are part of my m365 group which is connected to this team channel demo so if i will type andri's name over here you can see i can add andri on this private channel i can also add jack on this channel so once i will add their name i can click on add you can see these both are members of my team channel demo and we'll click on done so once you will create a private channel we'll again go to the files and again i will just simply upload the documents inside this private channel and you could you can see one more thing like when 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 you create a private channel there is a lock sign which uh, which is there in the front of the channel name so this is uh, basically you know we, you can identify like this channel is a private channel so i will upload files let me up upload all these files over here okay now again if you will click on three dots open in sharepoint let's see what happens in the background so one thing which you will notice here it has created all together a new site you could see this is our team name channel demo and in front of that there is the dash and then private so basically what ha what has happened it has created all together a brand new site so if we'll go to home so you can see this is a this is our brand new site channel demo dash private if you will go to site contents here you can see there is a document library and inside document library we have our folder name private and this is our this name is same as our private channel and this inside it you can see there are documents so basically the reason it has created a brand new site is of the security concern and here if you could see in the channel demo you will not find that private folder listed over here so it has created brand new site with the name of channel demo dash private if you will give any name to your you know private channel that name using that name a site will get created so that's how private channel works so now we'll go back to our team and we'll create our last channel which is the share channel and let's see how it behaves so okay friends so now we are back on our teams and here on you know this team channel demo we'll create our last channel with the name of share channel so we'll click on add channel so we'll create our last channel with the name of shared and here it is mentioned people you choose from your organization or other organization have access so in the standard channel we can add only those users who are part of our team channel demo and in private channel we can add a specific uh, you know members those who are part of the standard channel and in the shared channel we can add other users as well who are not part of this team channel demo so let's see i will add shared and let me create this channel so guys when we were creating the you know the private channel we were not able to add ritika on the private channel we were not able to grant her you know the permission so now if let's see in the shared channel we are able to add ritika or not so once i will type her name you can see i am easily able to you know add her on this shared channel 
I can also add other users like if I want to add Anthony I'm getting his name as well here in the shared channel so that's the beauty of the shared channel like apart from the users those are not not part of your team you can add those as well on this shared channel now we'll click on share and now you can click on done so now our shared channel is created and you could see the logo of the shared channel now again you will click on we will click on files we'll upload the same document all right we'll click on three dots and we'll see whether it is creating whether these document will reside on the same SharePoint site channel demo or it will create a all the way a new site so we'll click on open in SharePoint and you could see when we when we are creating a shared channel it's again creating brand new site if you'll go to home so it has created a brand new site with the name of channel demo dash shared and inside if you'll click on documents and inside this folder documents these are our documents now let's go back again to the teams and here in shared channel if you will click on the three dots you will click on manage channel from here you can manage the you know the permission of this shared channel simply remove or add members to this uh, shared channel so friends uh, this was a basic difference between you know three types of channels private share and standard uh, in a standard channel the documents will reside on the same you know teams connected site channel demo however in the private channel as well as in the shared channel a brand new site will get created and uh, in standard channel everyone who is part of this team channel demo will have access however in the private channel you can add specific user who are part of this channel however in the shared channel you can add members those who are part of teams channel as well as who are part of your organization so friend this is the you know the difference between three types of uh, teams channel and that's how it works that's conclude our video demonstration for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos i will see you guys in next video